everybody, I'm Fanny Easter. Um, I want to take a minute and talk about dogs that eat really, really, really fast. Sobek Marathi basically is a black and tan Hoover vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> you put his food in front of you, in front of him, and he just opens his mouth and just <clears throat> sucks it up. I, it, it's ridiculous. Usually, um, when he eats that fast, he chokes, he gags, he ends up coughing the food back out. Sometimes he'll throw up right afterwards. Uh, but another thing that's really bad for these guys, especially the bigger chest dogs, is that they can suck in extra air, which can cause um, gastric um, gastric issues, basically bloat, where the stomach um, kind of expands because it's filled with excessive gas. It's kind of funny. I feel like I've always lived with dogs that eat really fast. Um, so I remember back in the day trying to figure out ways to slow them down. Um, now there's so many different gadgets coming out. There's these really fancy uh, bowls that you can sprinkle food in and your dog has to go through all these little cracks and crevices to get the food out. Um, usually they lay flat like a dish, but there's just like a little obstacle course in there. Um, I find this is my opinion, but I find dogs that eat fast, there's usually a bit of anxiety. Um, everything they do is usually done fast, fast with vigor, with drama. So when I find that dogs are trying to move through a little obstacle course and get to their daily meals, they get frustrated. And I've seen many dogs, not just so back, flip the whole thing over and every, all the food flies out. And then it's a feeding frenzy. Okay, and that was $100 for the bowl. So I'm not saying it doesn't work for everybody. Some of you guys have had fantastic luck. I'm just saying on my end, that's kind of just my opinion on those bowls. Um, you can do other like interactive Kongs and wobblers and stuff. I've got some videos on how to use that. He uses those, but I'll tell you the cheapest and easiest, and it's a old school way, is to take their kibble, they eat kibble, and just spread it out. All right, when I say spread it out, I say on a smooth surface at first, okay? Take the kibble, um, you can, and I'll demo it for you. You can put it out on your hardwood floors, and that way they actually have to go and find each little piece of kibble. So Sobek could probably eat, Sobek what? Let's interview him. You can eat, what, two cups of kibble and what you say, 10 seconds? Probably not even, yeah, I'd say 10 seconds. Um, but when I take, okay, okay, okay. But when I take his two cups and spread it out, it could probably last anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes for him to eat because he has to get each little kibble and he has to look for it, he has to find it, he has to hunt it, and it makes him really tired afterwards, which is a really good thing. In the beginning, don't make it too hard because remember, this is their daily meal. I mean, you want to make it easy at first and then you can make it harder as they go and they understand the game. Clump it together on some smooth surfaces. Um, if it's a nice day, um, it's not too warm or it's not raining, we have a cement patio and I'll even spread it out there. I'll demo how what that looks like and him eating from there. Um, but I do every meal that way. If you're getting dressed in the morning, you can maybe take their food, spread it along the bathroom, and they can eat there. Now I would say after a couple of weeks, that's usually pretty easy. They'll start to kind of walk around and eat it. Make it a little bit harder by putting it on a rug. Then they have to really, there's different textures, okay? So um, you can feed them that way, or if you really want to make it really hard, um, is actually put it in a shag rug. Let's go feed this big guy and you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so we're actually gonna start. I'll show you, I get up to some kibble. And I just take the kibble and I sprinkle it onto the floor and let him eat it. Um, what I like about this too is that if you do this indoors or you do it outside and if you have dogs that are a little resource guardy, which means that they try to eat the other one's food, you can separate them. All right, so here's Sobek eating his kibble. I'll zoom in so you can see it. It's all kind of spread out. All those little dots that you see, all these little dots here, that's all kibble in here. And so that he actually has to go through and find each piece of kibble. Let's 
zoom out. And it takes a good 10. This is about a cup of food. So that takes probably a good eight minutes or so. And he looks like a little vacuum cleaner going through and getting it. Um, here's a couple recommendations for you. Make sure that you don't put any in the grass um, because it's really hard for them to find in the grass because of all the other stuff. And if they don't eat what's left over, you're gonna start inviting a whole bunch of um, rodents and birds that you never thought would be possible. I hope you find that this is a really good idea for your dog. Um, it will definitely make your life a lot easier. They'll slow down when they eat and then they'll be tired after they eat too. So, all right. Thank you.